ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part three of 3D10 The Lamp Render. Uh, what we're going to do in this part is this is going to be where I show you how to do the materials, the texture, the lighting, the shadows, and everything else that comes along with making a photorealistic rendering. Okay, so here we go. We're making something that looks like this. I'm going to close that out because we don't need it anymore. We have our 3D model from before. What we're going to do is we're going to put this on realistic. So you can see it's all gray right now because there's no materials on there anywhere. You're also going to go across to visualize. Um, I know if you're on an older software, that wasn't called Visualize. It was called something else. I think it was called the Render tab. Okay. Uh, don't worry about any of these things. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to drop down lights and we're going to turn default lighting off. Uh, default lighting is kind of like room lighting. So it, it it's nice. It's just even lighting. But I like to make things that have very distinct shadows that shadow onto something. Because I think it just makes it look a little bit nicer. All right, so almost like there was. So we're actually going to use the sun, so you can turn the sun on. Um, but almost like there was just one point light in the middle of the room, which you could also do. But I think the sun is just easier to set it up. Obviously, you don't have a sun inside your room, and mo and mostly it's used for exterior um, renderings. But in this case, you'll see that it works out perfectly. Okay, so lighting was default lighting off. Okay, uh, shadows, full shadows, sun is on. You can see by what time I have it set right now that the room itself is in a shadow, which means that the sun is on this side of the wall. So drop down sun and location and change this to be, I like to go into like the summer months somewhere. And I like to make this somewhere in the morning, probably about, see that, see that right there? That's a perfect spot. Somewhere around, you know, 10 a.m., 11 a.m., anywhere in there is going to make that look like a really nice shadow. And this stuff will hit the wall. It'll look very nice. Okay. So we got that stuff done. Now you're going to go into the materials browser. And I'm going to show you how to set that up. Okay. In the materials browser. Come on. Stick down. I don't know why that didn't move. I got to get it away from my myself over there so you guys can see it. There we go. Okay. In the materials browser. Click on this. All right. And make this 60. Ooh. 256 by 256. That's new. Nice. Uh, we don't need that up there, though. We need a 64 by 64. That's going to show you the color and the icons a little bit bigger. But I'm thinking 256 down here, that's nice. That'll show you how that looks like real nice and close. Okay. Um, that's new. <laughs> all right. So drop this down. Drop this down. And you'll see all the different categories. You've got wood, wall paint, roofing, mirror finishes, uh, metals, glass, all kinds of different stuff that you can choose from. Okay. And this is very simple. You can also search for things. If I'm looking for something like brick and I don't know where it is, you can see all the different types of brick. So if you want a brick wall, all you do is you click and hold and you move it on top of your model. And you'll see that now I have a brick wall. Okay. Maybe I'll leave that. I don't know. Just for this example. Um, let's say you were looking for flooring. If you go to flooring and you see this triangle, you can drop that flooring down and you can do carpet, stone, tile, vinyl, wood. So maybe I want to do... I don't know. That looks kind of nice. Everyone's like, yuck, his taste is terrible. Well, maybe. Let's do a hardwood floor. Let's find like a darker. That's kind of nice. Although we got a dark wall, so maybe we do want to go lighter on the floor. Beech wood. Boom. And then on our window, okay, we're going to need uh, tinted glass. So you could go to glass. And I don't know what glazing is. Uh, yeah, okay, that's kind of like a tint. But I, I think I like to go to just regular glass. I don't even know if that changes anything, to tell you the truth. Glazing. Yeah, it's like the same stuff. Um, go down until you see something darker. Because we don't want to see through the window because there's nothing out there. Okay? So frosted dark bronze. Eh. Let's see what else we can find here. Smoked black. That sounds cool. Smoked gray, that's the one. All right, take this one, put that on the window. Wherever your wherever your mouse is pointing at, like the very front of the pointer, that's where it's going to drop it on. Whoops. Smoked gray. I hope I did that for the other one. Let's do that again. Smoked gray. Okay. And then the last thing would be to put some kind of white around here. So now I, I find that the perfect white is like a PVC white because PVC is like this perfect white color. 
that the light doesn't really affect that much. So what I do is I take that and I drag that right onto here. And I'm actually hating that brick. So keep in mind that when you're on realistic, um, it's only showing you like a preview of what it's going to look like. That's not the rendering process. Okay, we're going to get to that in a second. Um, now, even though that's a plastic, I think that that white shows up really nice. So let's, I got to change these walls because the walls are, are kind of driving me crazy here. Let's go to wall paint. You could drop that down and do glossy or matte. Um, I don't like glossy because it's so perfectly glossy. It's like a mirror and you actually see things two, three, four different times uh, on the wall color because of how shiny it is. Okay. So just pick a color, drop that on the wall. All right. Um, now the, let's say we want to look at wood or let's say we want to do metal. Let's find a nice metal. I also find that the more shiny spots there are, the more reflection that you're going to see on these metals. So something like that's not going to reflect as much. Um, something like this is not going to really reflect at all. So you just, you know, choose any metal that you like. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's like a crystal ball. I like that. And that's going to go on there. Okay. Now you see, like that showed up black. It, it just doesn't, it, it's not able to render it on realistic. So we just, we'll, we'll be able to render it and you'll see the difference in a couple minutes. Um, and then the lampshade, I think I typed in fabric up here. No, what did I type in? Oh, there's fabric right there. Um, I guess that's one of the categories. I didn't see that before, fabric. So anything that has, like, you can see through a little bit is nice because if you decide to put a light up in this um, up in this light here, like a light bulb, you'll be able to see that light kind of coming through a little bit. So, like that. Boom, netting. That's pretty cool. All right, throw that on there. You can see it's a little bit of transparent. All right. And then the next thing, if you want, you can actually take a point light. If you go into lights, I'm actually going to turn this exposure up too. Let's make this like between, I tell my kids like between like five and six, you'll see that it looks really washed out. Maybe between six and seven. Yeah, about seven. That looks pretty good. Um, it'll look a little washed out. Oh, we didn't do anything on here yet. Um, it'll look a little washed out, but when you go to render it, it actually looks really nice when you turn that exposure up a little bit. All right. So let's close this. Let's put something, I got to go back to my material, um, material browser here and find something for the, for the actual dresser itself. Let's go with, there's this one cool, that one's kind of cool. Boom. There we go. All right. Now here comes the rendering process. Okay. What you want to do is you want to focus on the 3d model. So you're going to zoom in on your screen. Oh, let's do that light real quick. Sorry. Okay. So right here, create light point light. You're going to click that at the center point of this uh, cylinder right here. And all you're going to do is you're going to hit enter. That'll put that light bulb in there. You'll see it shining down on the table. Now, if I want, I could move this out of the way and I could click back on that light. I just deleted it but because it doesn't really matter. But you can click back on that light and you can actually change by going to right click properties, the different properties about that light lamp intensity you know what color the light is um, you know you could have maybe like a little blue tint to it or something um, really anything you want to change about it you can change on or off okay uh, the intensity factor how bright is it maybe I want to bring this down a little bit all right but you see that it makes a pretty cool shadow okay so anyways I'm gonna back that up I'm not gonna have my light in there in the render because I want my lampshade and I didn't feel like moving it oh it's still there look at that okay all right, so now for rendering, zoom in on the main part of the model. You're going to go to, uh, you're going to do a medium render first, which is going to go a lot faster than one of the other ones. You're going to do render in window, and you're going to do a render size of one, uh, let's do 1280 by 720. That's like uh, 720p TV, okay? And then all you do is you hit the little teapot. You let that render. Medium should go pretty quick, especially on my computer. The better the graphics card um, and the better the CPU, the better renderings you get. Look at the netting on the wall. I, I Now I hate that. The netting is actually too open where the light is shining through it, which is really weird looking. So I would actually... Oh, frames being dropped. Oh, that's because I'm doing this horsepower here. Um, man, I hate that. Yeah, I'm going to get that light bulb out of there actually. But I'm going to leave the netting. 
All right, so let's try that again. Render. So you can see that we're a little off center here. So anytime you want to cancel this, you hit the little red X and you close. And then I'm going to bring this back over. It looks like the exposure is still not right. So I'm going to bring that down a little bit again. And now I'm going to hit render. You can see that it doesn't translate the exact same way. That looks pretty nice like that. You see the reflection in the window, which looks nice. You can see the flooring through there. I'm still not crazy about the netting, um, so you could change that. that. This is when you would do that. This rendering is going so fast that it's not going to take too much time, so you can go back into it and change what you don't like about it, okay? But anyways, when you're done, okay, so, you know, you say, okay, I like how it looks. It's pretty nice. Then you're going to jack all these settings up. We've got an overnight quality, which is crazy. That's only if you're doing something like production work. That's going to take 12 hours to render. you got a lunch break, which takes 60 minutes to render. Uh, coffee break which is 10 minutes that's a nice looking render and we usually do those 10 minute ones and then you got high medium and low so choose one of them that you like um, that you want to do and you could even do 4k quality here you could do more output sizes and you could do you can change the width here to be 4096 by whatever that number is for 4k um, or for me I'm just gonna do the 1081 1920 by 1080 um, you know you could do it on medium for you guys I would do high or coffee break my, my frames on my camera are dropping when I do that, so I'm just going to do it on low real quick because I want to show you guys how to save this. So that will go real quick. Okay. Now, when it's done, you're going to go to the save icon here. You guys are going to go to, if you're one of my students, you're going to go to the U drive. Anybody else, you can save it wherever you want. And then when that's done, you're actually going to open up your folder down here on the screen, and you're going to find that picture. Oh, you know what? Let's go back into that for a second. Um, you don't want a PNG file. You want a JPEG file. Okay, so save that as a JPEG. Save it as like 3D10 lamp render. Okay, and then hit save. And then you're going to make the quality be the best quality and hit OK. Then once it's saved, you're going to go to this folder, the file explorer. You're going to find that file and then you're going to print that out to our color printer. And you actually staple that to the hidden copy of what we've already done. So you'll go back to like this right here. You'll do a window print right around whoops right around this part right here and then you'll staple those two together this is the one that's going to have your name on it you do not need your name on the render copy and that's pretty much it that's basic rendering that's that's basic materials texture lighting shadows okay and uh thank you guys for watching i appreciate it see you in the next one